Hi, I'm Ariane Cohen, a contributing editor at Women's Day, and today we are going to clean out your toaster that's probably never been cleaned before. You want to clean your toaster because a clean toaster is not only much more efficient, but also because a dirty toaster is a fire hazard. You've got burning hot coils next to years worth of breadcrumbs and they can ignite. Step one, and this is pivotal, unplug it. Step two, you're gonna find the drawer that's at the bottom of the toaster, and it usually has a little tab on it, and you're gonna pull it out. And we are at the house of a Women's Day editor who will go unnamed, who did not know that this drawer is here. Step three, you're gonna soak this in your sink in hot soapy water, and that'll help everything come off, and you're just gonna wash it as usual. But for now, we're just gonna leave it to soak. Next, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna shake it over a garbage can. Done. Step five, with a moist toothbrush, you're simply gonna scrub it out. Scrub out everything you can see in there that you wanna get out of there. All those crumbs and that caked on cheese, you're just gonna scrub it right out. After soaking your drawer, you're simply gonna scrub it. Step six, you're gonna put the drawer back inside and then you're going to leave it to dry for 24 hours. And you need to put a note on there so that your family knows do not use it because it's wet inside and water and electricity do not mix. After 24 hours, you can check to make sure that it's definitely dry and then plug it back in and you are in business with a clean, more efficient toaster. I'm Ariane Cohen and you now have a clean, safe toaster thanks to womensday.com.